We are staying on top of that situation out of Hawaii. This morning, the airport's there packed, people scrambling to evacuate the fire ravaged state. So far, at least 55 people have been killed in these wildfires. That number, by the way, updated just this morning. Rudabe Shabazi from our sister station in Los Angeles and former CBS News Miami anchor is live at the Mary Maui Airport for us this morning. Yeah, and Rudabe, you've been talking with evacuees there and others waiting to leave the island of Maui. What are they telling you about their experience with these deadly wildfires? Good morning to both of you. Yeah, it is a really tragic scene here. We're at the airport and you can see behind me, people have just set up camp here that some of them have been uh, without anywhere to stay for three days, three to five days now. They describe these harrowing tales of having to evacuate. A lot of these people were here at resorts. They were visiting. It's, a, of course, a popular tourist destination. They describe seeing the flames, seeing the smoke and then having to evacuate and then really having nowhere to go and being stranded. Their flights have been canceled. And then we're also hearing from the locals, and that really has been so heart-wrenching because a lot of them are here at the airport working, uh, coming in, making sure that tourists get off the island and get all their needs met while they're missing family members at home and their loved ones, and they can't get a hold of them. The power is out. The communications are down. Uh, so it, it really is a, a tragic scene here to see what they're going through. But they have this real sense of community in Hawaii. They are really bringing people together and, and doing whatever they can to to help each other. And they also talk about the significance of Lahaina, which is the historic city the town center that burned down and it used to be the capital of Hawaii. It has a lot of historical and cultural significance for them. This was the capital that brought all of the islands together, unified them, and, and it's a very mm -hmm. sacred place for them. Yeah, I've mentioned this week that I spent an appreciable amount of time in, in Lahaina. So sad to see that. It was it was just a, a primitive town when I knew it. was. I've certainly been commercialized and a lot more to burn down there now. Uh, Rutabay, so what about the painful reality? We actually see that behind you now. People cannot get out of the island right away. So what are they saying? And more importantly, is the airport even prepared to deal with this uh, influx of people who are forced to stay there? You know, you've been here. It's a, it's a small airport. It's a very friendly airport, and they've actually been doing surprisingly well. They have volunteers here. They're passing out supplies. We were in the bathroom earlier and saw uh, little kids showering. They had towels that volunteers had given them. They were brushing their teeth, shampooing their hair, um, and it seems like people really have gotten what they need. If you see these people behind me sleeping, these are all blankets and pillows that were brought here by volunteers and by the airlines. People are passing around food, passing around water, so it's not... Um, a sense of a desperate situation that you might see in a hurricane in Miami, for example, when people flood into an airport uh, or an evacuation center. It, it seems that they have a good handle on this, and that really, I think, speaks to their sense of community and speaks to their sense of wanting to take care of everyone on the island, both locals and people who are visiting. It seems, it almost seems like they're prepared for this, but there's more, I guess, a sense of adaptability. Right, just able to adapt to the situation at hand right yeah. now, and especially in such a scary time when there are people still missing, yeah. family, loved ones uh, that are still unaccounted for there. All right. Rutabay, great to see you. Sorry it's yeah, under these circumstances. They're definitely good to see you as well. Thank you.